Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to do some basic animations in After Effects and for this example we are using this scene that I have created uh, with the help of free images available on the internet. Um, this is a simple board. The size of uh, this layer is 1920 by 1080 which is video size uh, known as HD 1080 and we are going to animate that in After Effects. So as a first step we are going to drag and drop our PSD in After Effects project window. Make sure it's project window open here. Now by default it may ask you to import it as a footage but we don't want that because in the footage it's going to merge all the layers. So we want to have it as a composition while retaining the layer sizes. Okay. Now we have this composition ready let's double click on that and now the composition is open here we have all the layers just as we have these in the psd file lots of effort save let's close the photoshop now we have these toggle eye visibility we can turn them off and turn them on we can use the lock buttons to lock the layers that we are not working on. This way we are not going to accidentally move them. So it's a good idea and let's unlock the layer that we are going to work on which is the boat layer. Let's move the boat aside. Click on its uh, properties arrow and transform arrow. Now we have a number of properties that come under the transformation. Which, is, which are anchor point, position, scale, rotation and opacity. Now all of these have a stopwatch right beside them and this stopwatch is very important if you want to animate it. So our first step would be to animate to turn on this stopwatch. Let's click on the stopwatch. Now we have this keyframe ready. There are two types of frame, keyframes and the in-betweeners. So we are only adding keyframes in between is done by After Effects itself. Now we need at least two keyframes to tell it where to start and where to end. So we move the timeline a little bit further and let's change the position. You can either manually enter the position here by clicking on it or you can simply drag on the numbers that would also do that or you can manually move the position of the boat by clicking on it whichever way is convenient for you we can do that by all three means now what we have done we have told the computer that start from extreme right hand side and go towards extreme left hand side these are two key frames now all the in between frames are done by a computer itself let's see let's hit the space button so it plays And this is it, you have learned the basic animation in After Effects. Only two keyframes are required, where to start, where to end. And you are only going to get these keyframes if you have turned on the stopwatch. Now be very careful that whatever you do with the layer, it's going to add another keyframe. For example, if I accidentally move it, it's going to add a keyframe. If I accidentally move it again, it's going to add a keyframe. So you have to be aware or maybe perhaps lock the layer when you are done with it. So what we are going to do is let's delete select with the mouse and delete those keyframes that we accidentally added. We can also move the keyframes on the timeline. So let's say I want to make it a 5 second long animation and after 5 seconds the boat is coming towards the left hand side. So if we play it. Alright, great. We have done animation for the boat. Let's lock the layer. Let's come towards the waves layer. So the top one, expand it, expand it transformation properties. And we are also going to do the same steps. Position, click on the stopwatch and add a keyframe. Now in the middle, I want the layer to be a little bit top. We can move that with the help of arrow keys or you can manually do that with the mouse. Now what we have done 
initial position and go towards top in the middle. Now I want at the end to go back to the initial position. What I can do is select that keyframe, copy it, edit, copy or control C and go towards the end with this layer selected, edit, paste or control V. Now we have pasted our keyframe successfully. Now what it is doing, we have three, three keyframes. First frame is the initial position, position A, then it goes to goes toward uh, top position B and then it comes back to the initial position. If we play it, so it's kind of a in a loop. Now we are done with our animation, we are going to repeat same steps for the other waves. Let's go its go to its properties of position click on the stopwatch to activate the keyframe go towards the middle let's make it a little more towards top let's copy the first frame and at the end copy it back so we have our loop Now we have two layers that are moving at a little bit different speed to give it a little bit of depth. We are going to do the same thing with the third and final wave. Click on transform, click on the start keyframe, make sure you are at the zero position, position keyframed. Let's make it go a little bit above then others and let's copy the first frame at the end control c for copy control v for paste you can check all of these shortcut keys in edit menu copy and paste now what we can also do is if we close everything make sure to close everything down because if you are going to see it like this it's going to overwhelm you so when you are done with the layer close it down lock it so you don't accidentally move it but to Again, gain access for this layer, you have to unlock it again. So, <clears throat> if I press, select the layer and press U key, U for umbrella, on the keyboard, it's only going to show me the properties that have keyframes on them. So, right now we only have keyframe on position, it's showing me the position value. If I select multiple layers, for example, let me unlock the waves and select them all. If I select all of these wave layers and press U key on shortcut, uh, U key on keyboard, it's going to show me the keyframes of all of these three layers. Now you can compare that I have deliberately put the middle frame a little bit on different times. So we have this variation. You can go a little bit overboard if you desire. So now let's try playing it and we will have waves at different heights that is it that is our animation uh, we can do a uh, lots of things with little of these positions um, with whatever you wish to be it can be a, an, an aeroplane that is flying above the cityscape or it can be a windmill that is rotating the process is the same you have to tell computer in at least two keyframes where to start, where to go. Now be very careful, again, uh, be very careful if I move any of this layer accidentally. Let me close everything down so it's not overwhelming. If I move accidentally this layer, it's going to add a keyframe here. So you have to be very careful when once you have turned on this stopwatch, you cannot turn it off or it will delete all the keyframes you are also going to be make sure, you are also going to make sure that you are not accidentally moving it adding weird keyframes here and there so best way is to lock the layer and then only work on the layers that you wish to be thank you very much for watching